What's up, everybody? Welcome to Podcast Now. I'm Alex, and in this video, I want to do a Ratchet and Clank, a Rift Apart price prediction. So, a couple people have asked me about this, saying, hey, what do you think the price of this game is going to be? I think it's actually a good question and something that many people haven't put too much time into thinking about, because when you do think about what this game will end up costing... I have a question for people. Is it going to upset you? And that's something that I think uh, we're going to talk about once we go through uh, this video. So firstly, if you guys are new to the channel, welcome. Make sure, as always, you guys are subscribed to this channel. Uh, hit the bell icon so you guys know when all these videos go up. I do three, four, sometimes even five videos every single day on this channel. So it pays to have that bell icon uh, turned on. And if you guys haven't followed me on Twitter yet, PodcastNow15 is my Twitter handle. You can look me up on Twitter or the link for my Twitter is in the description below. All right, so uh, in, in all reality, there's only three options for Ratchet & Clank or Rift Apart, okay? Now, I, I really feel pretty strong on my prediction for what the price is actually going to be out of these three, but we'll talk about all three. There's 50, and this is all U.S. currency. I understand that some places it's like double or triple the U.S. currency, and that is, uh, that's awful, and I feel really, really bad about that, and that just, that's a bad econ economic system that needs to be fixed. That's, what, that's just my opinion political opinion but no it, it can either be fifty dollars us 60 or 70 okay um now i guess i'll just say it my prediction is 70 i think it's going to be a full price game that can make people pr i and, and that's why like and i don't actually know because like will that make people upset if the price is 70 because when i say full price or anybody says full price now they're talking about $70. $70 is the... Now, it's, it's still early on. So maybe you can't fully call it like the new norm, right? Like the new actual price model. But I mean, it is. I mean, you look at Demon Souls. You look at Godfall. You look at... And we're talking about PlayStation games. But it goes uh, you know further beyond that. A lot of third-party games are going to start charging it. Really, the only ones that won't are the ones that already announced their price like ahead of time. So like Ubisoft for like Far Cry, I think that is normal at $60. Um, but that also is because you get the next gen upgrade if you buy the current gen so i think once we get into next gen only games in fact we even saw it uh kind of with that leak of uh, uh gotham knights remember the the leak that was online that you could and it wasn't even a leak i mean you could pre-order it i think in some territories and it was 70 dollars. the next gen version the current gen version was 60 a thing to quickly note is Ratchet and Clank or Rift Apart is only on PS5. That's very important because I think it separates. Uh, I think it actually completely wipes out $50. There's just no way, you know, on this earth that's going to be $50. It really comes down to 60 or 70. Uh, I think again, if it were to be on current gen and next gen, maybe it would be like that. But you think about some examples we already have. Again, like Miles. Okay, well Miles is 50. Uh, but it's a PS4 game and it's a PS5. It, I mean, it's not DLC. I mean, I don't really think anybody would call it that. But it was kind of conceived as like a glorified DLC, right? I don't think that's unfair to say. So there's a reason why that's $50, okay? Uh, but then again, you look at game, and now here's the interesting one. You look at a game like Sackboy, Sackboy A Big Adventure, which is uh, $60. That's a, it's a, a quote-unquote full price game for the PS4 era, right? Um, and, and, you know, I actually have that game. I haven't played it as of when I'm recording this, but I'm really, really looking forward to playing it. I know, P I know some people out there, because there's some people that really like that game that will tell me that I have to do it. You know, that's a full price game for PS4. I think that's fair because it is a full game. It's got all the features, right? It's, it's an, I mean, it's, it's a game. I mean, I don't know what else you, you really can say. But it's for PS4 and PS5, okay? PS4 and PS5. You really, to me, you got to look at the examples of what they've done with PS5 only. And there's not many examples. In fact, there's only two. As of right now, there are two examples of next gen, and that's Godfall, which is also on PC, but it's on consoles. It's only on PS5 and Demon Souls. And both of those games are $70. So that, to me, is the biggest indicator I need. And you look at Ratchet and Clank, I mean, it is a full it's a full uh, blown game it's a game that's made directly for next gen you look at now okay they, they've stopped really promoting it like all together but you know as it gets closer everybody's gonna be talking about ratchet and clank coming from insomniac right i, I really just don't see any way this isn't and, and again i don't know if that's going to upset people to be honest with you i'm expecting it so i don't think i'm gonna get very mad when it's 70 and it's a it's a thing also where it's kind of like it's just it's just gonna be it just is how it is you know what i mean it's going to be a what it is where it's like again 
again, you see Gotham Knights. Don't think for a second Hogwarts Legacy isn't going to do the same thing. Because, by the way, Gotham Knights, Warner Bros. So think about now all Warner Bros. games. So future Injustices and future uh, Mortal Kombats and, and anything. Maybe even uh, the Lego Star Wars game. We'll have to see about that because that, that's going to come out like on every console imaginable. Maybe that won't be full price. I, I'm, I'm telling you guys, for the first year or so, it's probably going to be a game-by-game -game basis or a company-by-company -company basis. But as we go further on here, all games. Uh, and now, there's, ex there's of course, exceptions. Like, there will be games that will be $60. There will be games that will be $50. There will be games that will be $40. Uh, it, it kind of is, it, you know, because I'm not saying, like, I'm in love with a new modeling system. I mean, I, obviously, I don't want to spend an extra $10 for all these games. I get why it needs to be done. I understand it. You know what I mean? Like, a game like The Pathless, I own that. I'm loving it. But, like, it's $40. Normally, it would have been 20 or 30 but now that everything is shot up in price now it's 40 sack boy maybe that would have been a, 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 a you know a cheaper game miles definitely would have been a 40 dollar game just like uncharted lost legacy would have okay uh, and so these but these games all get bumped up because of the price right godfall is that a 70 dollar game well no it's a 60 dollar game but now 60 dollar games are 70 dollar games okay so it, it again it we can be upset as upset as we want, but at the end of the day, it kind of just is what it is. I, I think Ratchet & Clank will be a full-price $70 game, and again, only for PS5. I think that is fair, considering, well, I guess, like, the price model aside, it's fair that this is, a, forgetting, again, forgetting actually the price, like, that's a full game. It's a game that, was, again, was made from the ground up for PS5. It's, it's a standalone game. It's a big game. It's a big game, right? It's going to be pretty darn important for the PS5. So I think it deserves the, the kind of title that it's a full, full-length game, right? It's not DLC. It's not a spin-off thing. It's not something that you could say, well... It could be like a $40, $50 game because, again, well, even those games now would be, you know, $50 or $60. You have to add $10 to all of them. So I'm going to say $70. To me, it doesn't upset me. Uh, I, again, I get it. I don't want people to come at me about the, the pricing miles because I, I am, I, I'm, not, I'm not against them. I'm not necessarily for them. Again, I understand why they have to happen. I think they do have to happen because as these video game budgets continue to get more and more expensive, to not increase the price of games, which, by the way, have been stagnant for over two decades. I think even longer, actually. The games have always been $60, which is insane. That And game is, gaming, like video games, are one of the only things on planet Earth that haven't actually like been in, uh, adjusted for inflation, basically. Basically, they haven't actually gone up in value over the years. It's stayed the same, which is actually remarkable that it's done that, but now it's time where when you have these quadruple-A studios that these games are going to cost five, six, seven hundred million dollars to make you need to make your game just a little bit more expensive so you can make that money back so let me know guys in the comments below what do you think what do you think the price for ratchet and clank is going to be uh for those wondering because I, I i feel like people will be wondering they'll say well, when will the game release do you have release date predictions i did a video on that on my second channel as always all of my social media stuff is in the description below i know i'm plugging or pushing my twitter more here but if you guys want to know what i think about the release date for ratchet and clank that's on my second channel okay uh so again make sure you guys are subscribed make sure you guys have the bell icon turned on so you know when all these videos go up follow me on twitter again podcast now 15 all one thing you can look me up or you can uh, click the link in the description my second channel is there if you guys want to watch that ratchet and clank video thank you guys so much for watching and i hope to see you all on the next one